Good evening and thanks so much for tuning to Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Zach Seminar. It's been more than a struggle for Southern Miss women's volleyball in 2019. Golden Eagles have yet to win a single match and the team may be running out of chances to pick up that elusive first victory. Forget winning a match. USM has won just two out of their 44 sets. One of the worst marks in the country. One of the Lady Eagles' best remaining chances comes in their next game when they host the SWAC's South Alabama Hornets, who come in with a 4-15 and record. No other Conference USA team has fewer than six wins this season. After their beatdown on the road at the hands of the 7th-ranked Auburn Tigers, Mississippi State is ready to move on. Dogs will have plenty of time to recoup with their bye week ahead, and Kylan Hill spoke of how he and his team will move forward with Tennessee next on the schedule. To move forward, the best thing we can do, you know, if you keep thinking about the loss, uh, negative things happen until the next game. Uh, once again, like Coach always say, we 0-0 zero, zero this week coming up. Uh, Got to get that win. Ole Miss soccer is off to an undefeated start to SEC play. Unfortunately, they don't have the wins to show for their solid play. Ole Miss has gone to overtime in each of their first three league games, tying twice and pulling out a win their last time out against Auburn. And Coach Matt Mott spoke of how his girls are responding to their large number of minutes played early in league play. Yeah, it's, it's been challenging. It's a good word for it, I think. that. Um, but our players have really battled, and you know, the idea that we've won one, tied two, is a testament to how hard we've worked, how deep we are. I've been saying that all year. But, um, you know, it's, it's been tough. It's been a tough a tough uphill sled for us, for sure. But um, I like the way the team's working, and it was good to get the win on, on Sunday. Rebels will take on 15th-ranked Arkansas on the road tomorrow night at 7. Well, Zion Williamson's first practice as a professional is in the books. New Orleans Pelicans opened up training camp on Tuesday morning in the Big Easy. It was a day for June's top draft pick to just put his head down and just be one of the guys. There were no windmill dunks or between-the-leg dribbling, and it was a milestone day that ended with a smile on the face of the young 19-year-old rookie. It, it is a big moment. Uh, my first official practice. Uh, we got after today, uh, put in some new stuff, and the experience, like, I never thought I'd be here, so it's ready to be my first official friend, uh, it's exciting. On September 20th, the Braves clinched the National League East Division title with a 6-0 win over the San Francisco Giants. On Thursday, they begin their 2019 playoff run. Atlanta will host the NL Central champion St. Louis Cardinals in the National League Divisional Series, a best of five game series for a shot to move on to the NLCS. For the Redbirds, Miles Michaelis is slated to get the start in game one, while Dallas Keuchel will take the hill for Atlanta. Manager Brian Snitker gave his thoughts on the matchup earlier in the week. Um, I think we're, you know what, it, it didn't matter to me one way or another. Um, they're both really good teams. They've both been playing great and um, should be a great series. For the rest of the league, postseason began last night in our nation's capital. Brewers on the road to take on the Nationals in the NL Wild Card game. A date with the Dodgers and the NLDS on the line. Milwaukee built a 3-0 lead, but then out trotted Josh Hader. All-star closer would load the bases in the eighth for Juan Soto, who dumped a two-out base hit into right to tie the game. Then a costly misplay by Trent Grisham allowed the winning run to score. It was the first error of Grisham's career as the Nats stormed back for a 4-3 win over Milwaukee. They play to the last out, you know. Uh, every day, they don't quit until the 27th out is recorded. Um, and honestly, for me, I kind of got used to it. And, you know, we're sitting there and nobody ever thought we were, were, were ever done until that last out was. Really, I mean, the dugout was fired up. The guys were fired up.